your show, and I love everything about you and you. And yeah. I wanted to know what kind of summer gadgets you have coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, I love gadgets. You know what? A lot of people don't know. My first show on Food Network was a gadget show called Gotta Get It. Um, and it was just purely because I am into things like that, especially if they can do more than one thing or they can just make you happy in the kitchen. So I want to show you a couple you of new gadgets. You brought two new gadgets, yes, right? Yes, and I think you're going to like them. Um, the first one I, sh I want to show you is from a company called iDevices. It's called the iGrill. Now, we've all seen these kind of remote um, thermometers where you stick it into your protein and it tells you you the temperature but I want you to watch up on the screen right here this attaches to your phone and it's like an app and it's called the eye grill mini I'm gonna get this for John because my mom Look gave one of these probes and he loves it so can you but see? this is the latest yeah. thing so the cool thing here is as it's cooking you can also kind of gauge when it's peaking going down if there's a flare up on the grill or something like that Whoa. and it tells you exactly when it gets to the proper right temperature yeah it's so cool and then there's other people that have the app and you can see who's grilling where and what they're doing it's a really cool Sunny, app. Sunny I don't yeah. like it medium take it off it's yeah. going too far I'll I like it medium off. rare. Uh -oh. I'm a medium. <laughs> <laughs> get it off get it off now. Get it off. Right there. Yeah. And then just let it hang just so you know, if you're grilling, let it hang out before you slice it because if you can imagine the juices are bubbling in there, you want them to simmer before you slice it so they don't all spill out. Right. All right, so now this next gadget I am in love with. It's interesting looking and it does take up a lot of space. So you know I've got to love it if it's going to take up a lot of space. This is a five minute stackable appetizer maker. It's from turn Architect. Yeah, turn the grill off for me. Before we set the fire alarm off and get all yeah. of these people wet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got them greasy and Sunny will get you yeah. all down. <laughs> so I mean I really love this. this. This is from Architect. It's a five minute appetizer maker and it's stackable. So let me show you how this works. You just kind of open it up and I've got some pre-cut bread here. You put it down. This is adorable. When you start, what I really love about this is now when you do this, kind of like the options are endless. Okay, so I've got white bread. Sweet or savory? Let's just do a little, you can do anything you like. Okay. So I think we'll make a little bit of PB&J. What are you doing? peanut butter. Right, squeeze that out. It's a lot easier if you put it into a plastic bag. So we're gonna go down again. It's like a miracle. Yeah, I really <laughs> love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really it's like. It's a finger. Who's sitting, sitting around <laughs> working these ideas out? I have no idea, but I you know, love it. This is really like combining a petty four yes. with a finger. It is. Yes. It yeah. is. This would be great if you had kids, though, to get them really interested. Yeah, really interesting. Okay. Yeah. Get them really I have interested. three little girls who don't like to do any of this kind of stuff. Oh, they'd go crazy. Right? Yeah. And if we do this, gee, I wonder why not. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a them a toy kitchen. Of girls. I bet you that is the dustiest toy kitchen <laughs> in all of North America. But I bet you their play makeup and their vanity <laughs> is they, just worn to death. <laughs> they did know they love the kitchen. Oh, so hazelnut spread. Yeah, I was going to say, don't forget the hazelnut. So she's got oh. peanut butter, jelly, and hazelnut. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes. All in my pantry at all times. <laughs> Seriously. Sunny, what's the savory one you have up front there without jalapenos? So this one is really cool. You use some cornbread, and then you kind of layer it up as you would like an eight-layer dip. So there's some salsa in oh, there, some black, black bean, beans, yep. cilantro over the top. You see a <laughs> little cheese layer. Yes, yes. Has it, has it ever happened? that the audience has like stormed the kitchen. Well, I hope that Sunny. <laughs> All right, so take a look Sunny's at this. Sunny's got three plates of that food, and if she thinks she's going to go to break without breaking it out to the audience, oh. she is sadly mistaken. <laughs> You bring it down. So cute. Look at that. Genius. 